coastal Mexican food. Don't sleep on it. Whoa. Listen, no. I love tacos, but this is beyond tacos. I'm tastes. never getting tacos again. Oh! <laughs> hey! What's Woo! going on everybody? Welcome to another episode in our Beyond series. Today we are exploring Mexican food and we are going beyond tacos. Oh, so yeah. today we got Richie and Tan, of course. Obviously, uh, tacos very entry level when it comes to Mexican food. Yeah. I I, remember, I've never really seen a lot of this food. Yeah, this is a whole another league. Yeah. Yeah. This is stuff you gotta step out the resort in Cancun. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna serve this at the resort. I mean, a lot of these dishes are what like a lot of like Mexican people would go out to eat. We have a five round series. <laughs> round one, we've got the soups. Okay, who means? It almost looks right. like the base is the same for all four. It all has a little bit of spice to Let's it. But they it. definitely so. do look uh, drastically different. Our first soup that we are starting off with, it is the Seven Mares soup. Seven, Seven Mares. Mares. Light broth. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Seafoody. Wow. No, that broth is actually really, really smooth. Really easy to eat. It's you would not heavy. I, I feel you. I like how it let the seafood shine because the seafood is the all-star of this dish. It's not too fishy or anything. Okay, the next one is a very famous soup in Mexico. It is the tortilla soup. It's crushed up tortillas that are fried wow, that's in soup. Tortilla, tortilla soup. soup. I love that they added authentic tortillas in it. That tortilla, it just really breaks down. The best way to describe it is a cracker that's been soaking in for a while. Mm -hmm. or this is light and nice and just smooth. It tastes like Graham. Next soup is the pozole. This is the pork soup. It has pork maize soup. in there, which is like a form of corn. It's pork. essentially corn. Right off the bat, the color is definitely more harsh. Pozole. pozole. The pork is so wow. soft. No, you, you really need the uh, the additional garnishes. Oh, I feel yeah. like those are really crucial. Has, but the Woo! soup is a great appetizer. We have the caldo de res. This is a beef soup. Caldo, caldo de res. res. Not bad. A little bit uh, more plain than the others. That's to let the beef shine. Of the winners of the soup, okay. uh, I'm gonna go with Pozole, man. I, I love the uh, addition of the corn mace Maze, in yeah. there, man. Uh, man, uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Seven Mares because you don't really see a lot of soups that let the taste of the fish or the you know crab meat really shine through. I'm rolling with Seven Mares too because I thought the seafood quality was just so high. The tortilla <laughs> soup had the pork in it. Ooh. Okay. The pork was good. I mean, when you do pork right, it's you're gonna get another soup you make. <laughs> <laughs> Caldo de tortilla. For me, I, I feel pretty strongly about the pozole. I do That's too, cool. man. I do too. Guys, I, I don't think anybody's mad if, if pozole wins. Yeah. They're Try good. the Mexican soups. Yeah. We are moving on to kind of our tortilla wrap burrito style foods. We've got burritos. Yes. We've got taquitos, aka flautas. Chimichangas, enchiladas, tamales. Oh. This is a habanero burrito. It's a wet burrito, but it's not red or green sauce. Habanero, habanero burrito. burrito. I gotta say, that sauce, that's a light, light pink, packing a lot more heat than you think. Is it too hot to handle? There's two types of spiciness. Yeah. One that makes you want to keep eating, yeah. and one that makes you want to stop. This is the keep eating. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right, moving on to our next item. We got the flautas, AKA the taquitos. These are obviously little fried, almost mini burritos. Flautas. And these are chicken. This one's cool because it yeah. has a lot of cabbage and lettuce. You tasted sure. a lot of the carb on this one. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so chimichangas. What's the difference between a chimichanga and a burrito? Essentially, a chimichanga is a deep fried burrito. Some of this is Mexican American, but I, I don't want to say it's Tex Mex. Mexicans have been in America for so long. Actually, part of America was belonging to Mexico yeah. at a time. So it's just kind of that long time fusion. Obviously, it is more closer to Tex Mex, but I wouldn't say it quite is. These are scary though, because you cannot tell which ones are hot as. Right. You don't know what right. which way. And um, which ones are just nice jalapeno taste. Which chimichanga. chimichanga. Mmm. Mmm. Put all that together. Taste the friedness. Yeah, you taste the oil in a good way. And I feel like the ones we've had mm -hmm. had way more cheese. This had like very minimal cheese, if any. Next to finish up this round, we Ooh. got the enchiladas Woo! and the tamales. Now the tamales, as you can see, Lovely, they have been bro. unwrapped and they're smothered. Here you have the enchiladas, which are smothered, of course. That's how they're supposed to be. Tamales. tamales. Stood the test of time. I almost really like the smothered one because mm. sometimes unsmothered it might be a little too dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Enchiladas. Yeah, yeah. So, so the filling of enchilada is usually pretty simple, but really what varies is the sauce on top of it. Okay. 
I didn't expect the enchiladas to be so good. I, I really like mm. it. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, the nice. downfall of that enchilada was that the meat was a little bit dry, but it made up for that flavor of the enchilada sauce. Mm. The mm. wrapping actually had a lot of flavor. And until you try all these next to each other, you can't really see the nuances yeah. in it. And Everything tasted great. I'm gonna go to tamale though. Yes. Mm. I had to reconfirm myself, so I ate a little bit more. The graininess of the tamale is nice. Yeah. The texture and the taste of the cornmeal, it just being smothered, I think it exposed me to a new tamale I'd never had. Yeah. Before. I mean, if it lasted that many years, it's gotta be good. Speak your we, truth. We've we lost the essence of food. food. The food was for procreation and building and yeah. <laughs> energy. And not just for looks and IG now. Okay, moving on to round number three, a very, very important round. It is so the delicious. seafood round. Get it. So here we have ceviche. Boom. We have Camarones a la crema, which is shrimp and cream. You have the mocajete moriscos. You got your camarones a la diabla. You got your deep fried majaro that, that, fish. That, that, that's a and then you have camarones cucaracha. Oh, oh, oh wow. Cucaracha. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's a real word. Ceviche. I've always appreciated the sauce that comes with the ceviche, man. I went to a quinceanera once back in the day. This whole set of food kind of reminded me of it. I think I was there with you, Veronica's? Veronica Valencia's quinceanera. Shout out to her. Hope y'all doing well. It was perfectly balanced with the tanginess, but definitely not overly tangy. Mm. I love ceviche. It's not heavy. It's fresh. Would have been nice for some chunks of fish, though. All right, next item of the seafood section, we got camarones a la crema. Camarones meaning shrimp. A la crema, bean cream. Oh, there, there's a base of uh, beans at the bottom. Camarones a la crema. Whoa, so do it. good, man. Watch. Hey, 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 if you guys are a fan of chicken Alfredo, you gotta get man. this. Man, I love Alfredo. Wow, this is what a way plane. better. Continuing the journey through shrimp, guys, we have the Woo! camarones a la diabla. Really, 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 really nice looking dish. Camarones a la diabla. You know what it tastes like? Something that came off a sizzling platter. Dude, the beachy the Mexican hell, man? food, man. The coastal Mexican food. Don't sleep on it. Whoa. Listen, no. I love tacos, but this is beyond tacos. It I'm tastes... never getting tacos again. Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me retract that. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this dish is the moca gente marisco caliente. This resembles more so of like a Cajun boil. Moca gente marisco caliente. That's yeah. by far the spiciest dish we had today. Yeah. Hey, I think the good. gringos would have a problemo with this one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, but I could do it the caliente. That was spicy. Next dish, camarones cucaracha. You can see there's enough oil on top. It's kind of separating. This really looks like a Cajun boil. Camarones la cucaracha. It almost tastes like a flavor that the chicken wings. I would say the last two are definitely flavors I've never had before. Finishing oh, off the seafood section. Can the fish compete with the shrimp? Based <laughs> off the looks, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What I do appreciate though, tastes very clean. It doesn't taste too fishy. You can find fish even in Indonesia or in the Philippines. They eat fried fish too, and it just looks like that. Sure. Across the world, everybody's cooking a fish that looks for like sure. That. Rich, how about you add some of that to the ceviche, and then you kind of get what you wanted from earlier. A little bit of shrimp. And fish. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> you don't just eat the fish like that, all right? You eat yeah. it in different things, yes. all right? We, we understand that. The fish may not beat out the shrimp dishes, but it was nice. Yeah, as far cool. as the winner let's for this round right here, what are you guys going with? D not T. Oh, he let's did the uh, shmurda. David, he did David the shmurda. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see. Don't look at me what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the Diablo. I'm gonna go in the green with D and go with the Diablo as well, right. man. Right. Something that blew my mind as far as flavor was the cucaracha. Whoa. I mean, I never had that flavor before. Yeah. Obviously, wow. it would be hard to eat that whole dish by myself. I could dip anything in there. I'm going with crema and a strong vote. Okay. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> go with the crema. Okay. It was nice. Nah, All right, everybody, if you are excited about the rest of this video, make sure to oh. smash that like button, hit your notifications, and click subscribe. All right, on to round Woo! four, which is our pollo section, AKA chicken section, guys. Oh. Starting here, you have pollo a la crema, the chicken version <laughs> oh, of know. the shrimp one we just had. Here you have pollo asado. Here you have pollo and Whoa. mole. Mole yeah. being kind of like the deep Mexican curry. And then you have your classic arroz con pollo. Arroz, arroz con pollo. pollo. There's tomato sauce in this. Almost has the uh, image of a pasta. It's really simple 
but that tomato flavor almost, I would say, is moving in the direction of some enchilada sauce. Yeah. Pollo a la crema. That crema is too good. <laughs> Any type of meat. We had shrimp earlier, we have chicken now. Bro. So good. The onions, they're cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. This dish is on point. Oh. Mm. I personally like it with the red sauce. Something about the way the cream comes together with the onions and the mushrooms and... And the, and the red sauce. Yeah. Who knew? Even the, the beans and the rice. Who knew the first creamy Mexican dish you have is gonna be one of the best ones? Pollo and mole. It's made from a, a lot of ground herbs and yeah. spices, and that's why it gives it that uh, deep, dark color. Ground chilies, it has ground nuts, so even some ground fruit, originating from Oaxaca and other traditional native <laughs> parts of Mexico. It's just earthy herbs, but less spices. Mm -hmm. It's just less earthy. spices, yeah. yeah. You guys kind of taste the nuttiness in it. Very sweet. That too. was good. The last chicken dish we have is pollo asado. Mm -hmm. This is your grilled yes. marinated chicken. Yes. Pollo, pollo asado. asado. Just about to smell this chicken, I know it's gonna be good. Really I'm gonna good. get it. I mean, overall, that's really good. Obviously, if you eat it with the rice and the beans and the jalapeno, you, you have your whole meal right there. One thing about this dish, I could see a lot of people getting it that maybe are more conscious about what they're putting in their bodies. For, I mean, for something that looks almost like the plainest out of all of the dishes that we have so far, half the flavor. What are you guys going with, man? I'm an easy crema. I gotta go with the mole. The mole, huh? It was smooth, it wasn't too spicy, it was a little earthy. For me, I'm gonna go with the pollo asado. I'm gonna have to go with the pollo asado too, oh, man. Wow. Oh, okay. Ooh. The pollo yeah. diversity was just boom, boom, boom. They yeah. do a lot of meats really well. These dishes here made me really appreciate chicken. Yeah. 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 To wrap it Woo. up and lead into our last and final round five, we just have some of the more famous Mexican desserts here. And not all um, these are like ultra authentic. Like for example, this is a cheesecake burrito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously you got the churro. Yeah. Probably one of the top three best deep fried desserts. And of course, guys, you have the flan. Uh, strawberry cheesecake, this <laughs> was on the menu. <laughs> That's a good. Churro is really interesting because this also comes from Europe, yeah. but it's based off the, the horns of the churro goat that look like this. Flan. flan. This one mm. is good. And it's really sweet, but it's not too sweet. Right. This is actually maybe the best flan I've ever had. In my Super life, creamy man. and you just wanna, like. You want to shout out that restaurant, man? El Rinconcito. They have multiple locations. That's my spot. Yeah. It breaks down so nice, you could just put it in your mouth and squeeze it through your teeth. It's like the syrup makes about 30, 40% of it. I actually want to try the cheesecake burrito. All right. Obviously, this, this looked a lot better when they gave it to us. Yeah. It actually came with a nice couple scoops of ice cream. Cheesecake, cheesecake burrito. burrito. That's yeah. cheesy. Yeah. A little too cream cheesy for me. That was a New York style cheesecake in the middle. No. The ice cream would have helped balance the saltiness of the cheese, yeah. and then it would have been fire, so I can't really judge that right now. You guys, we've arrived at our last and final dish. We've got the cheesecake with the churros. Churros. But I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, I was not expecting it to dunk like that. That. This is not New York cheesecake. Me, I'm not gonna let you do it by yourself. <laughs> mm, that strawberry syrup. Wow. Mm. Oh, this is filled with. Mmm. Little caramel. Mm. It wasn't too yes. sweet. I, I was really worried that it was gonna be too sweet, but so this guys, is, this is perfect. Sweet. What about churro and flan, baby? You can't go wrong. Ew. You can't go wrong. It's Woo. Crazy. Woo! All right, you guys. We have arrived at the end. What was your favorite guys' dessert? I'm gonna have Boy. to go with the flan. Yeah. The flan. 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 Yeah, that was a yeah. unanimous flan. But I do think if the tres leches were here, it would be. It would be, be close, it would be close. Be Tres leches is, is incredible. A lot of people's current image of Mexican food is off the truck. It's street food. But I'm like, we had dinner foods. This yeah, is like this what is a family lot. Family foods. These are family foods. foods. These are what a lot of Mexican families are ordering when they go to the restaurant. Boom. What was you guys' favorite thing? One that's sticking out in my mind, let me just say this flavor-wise, yeah. that's still sticking with me and is seared into my brain synapses is the mocha head day. <laughs> the, one with the, the one that had fish and shrimp. It was the mocha and fish, fish and shrimp and crab. It had fish, shrimp, and crab in it. This might not have been my favorite. The one I appreciate the most has got to be the soups. Oh, yeah. It mm. got to be the soups because oh, with most other the cuisines, the broth base is pretty overpowering. So it doesn't really matter what you kind of put in it. With the Mexican soups, man, you really tasted all the ingredients. Uh, what, what struck me was some of the seafood dishes because I had never eaten that much Mexican seafood before yeah. at one yeah. time. As far as a sleeper goes, I would say the crema. Never had that before. That was mm -hmm. really good. Yep. And then my favorite, I really enjoyed the tamale. That yeah. was really good. David, you mentioned earlier about just appreciating the chicken. 
Mm. I mean, I did not think about no carne asada tacos through this whole thing. Uh, chicken, right, right, right. This is really just overpowered what we're used to having yes. when it comes to tacos and burritos. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Give us a huge thumbs up, subscribe. The whole series that we have this here is sort of just encouraging people to even take like maybe one more step than their peers around them into someone's cuisine, someone's culture, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. In the comments down below, let us know what your favorite Mexican dish is that's not a taco or not a common food yep. and the best comment is going to get a $25 Amazon gift card. Oh, so leave your IG handle too. Thank you so much and until next time we out. Peace. You see what you what you think man. Have the flan. Mmm. You guys weren't lying. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't lying. I was afraid you guys were about to finish all the flan. I was like oof leave me a piece. Good, huh? Mm. All right, John. Yeah. I need to see you try something, man. No, we gotta get John that yeah. spicy oh, dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go over there, go. Get over there, man. Oh. Spicy dish. Okay. Yeah, bring it over here. Right. Arr. Wow. The. Now try this. Yeah, mocajete, mocajete. Just with my hands. Mocajete yeah. mar marisco caliente. Make sure you dip some sauce in it, man. All right, all right. Here, here. I don't know. Can you use a spoon? Just use a spoon. Okay, what are you getting? Some uh, fish, you getting some, uh, some. Yeah, you got a little squid. You got squid. a squid, got a squid, squid ring squid. right there. Let's get it. Let's do it. Oh, so much flavor. It's, uh, I'd say it's, uh, muy delicioso. Wow. <laughs>